Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we had seen what were the problems of using L1, L2 or Huber loss as a regression loss for rotated object detection. And in another previous video in the playlist, we had seen that when we were facing similar problems with the LN regression loss for horizontal object detection, how we had migrated to using IOU based losses like GIOU, DIOU and CIOU to overcome the same. So a logical next step in this problem would be why not use IOU based losses here also. So for rotated bounding boxes, the IOU is called skew IOU and there are a number of permutation and combinations in which two rotated bounding boxes can overlap. The three illustrated here are just a few of the many examples. So to compute the skew IOU, the first step is say compute the area of the ground truth, let us say the blue box is the ground truth, which is fairly easy. Then we compute the area of the prediction. Let us say this red box is the prediction. That is also fairly easy. And then we have to determine the intersection area. So how this is done is firstly we determine the vertices of overlap. That is in this case would be L, K, I, J and also these inner vertices A and C. Then we have to sort these vertices into an anti-clockwise order and then we compute the area that is done by first individually calculating the area of these inner triangles to be specific triangle ALK then triangle AKC triangle ACJ and triangle AJI and then once we have computed these areas we add all these triangle areas to get the area of intersection. Now we can calculate this Q IOU by uh, first taking the area of intersection or the area of overlap and dividing it by the area of the ground truth bounding box added with the area of the prediction and minusing the area of the overlap. So what we see here is when we compare it with the IOU calculation case of horizontal object detection in that the algorithm was just one line of code where we had to calculate the min and max operations of the various corners. As compared to that, this is a very elaborate algorithm. So the problems with skew IOU are, first of all, it is computationally expensive because of this elaborate algorithm and also the various permutation and combinations in which two rotated bounding boxes overlap. And the second problem is it is not differentiable for learning because the backpropagation algorithm has not been implemented in various popular deep learning frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow. So in the coming video, I will discuss how using Gaussian modeling for rotated bounding boxes, we can overcome both the problems with the skew IOU as also the problems of using LN losses that we had seen in the previous video.